So yeah, it looks those kind of look like switches, but maybe they're sconces or something. Uh, ooh. Just gotta stop to appreciate the lovingly rendered environments. Um, and then over there, was there a collapse door? Or just, no, just this way. Okay. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go till the next, uh, next boss or next stops, uh, stop point, save point. And then I'll call it for a, call it for a stream. Poisons, please? No! Ouch. That was painful. I don't think we got- oh, we did get poisoned. <laughs> I wonder what the criteria are for each of those, like, combo hit messages, because we totally just got a... We got a cool. <laughs> Alright, sorry it went all bad. Sorry about that. It, I, I saw that it disconnected me from the from the chat, so it probably had a hiccup. Our nut here gets a little spotty when other people get on it, so... And I think my flatmate's home, so... That's typically why I stream in the afternoons as opposed to uh, evenings, because everybody is using the internet in the evenings. Um, somewhere in here we have an item to cure... Paralysis... Poison. Fairy Chortle cures poison. Okay. I think that's what that little gray cloud was. Yeah, no more poison. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, sorry about the stream issues. Like I said, I'll um I'll be wrapping up pretty soon on account of that, just cause. But it looks like we might have another. Oh, hello. This looks like another boss. Again with the weird laughing. Um. The door is locked. Oh, dang it! I was trying to save. We haven't saved in a while. I don't want to lose a bunch of progress. Oh no. That's not great. That statue looks pretty sus. Um, so I guess what I'm gonna do... Use this to heal us up. I was not expecting a fight. I really, I really would have preferred a chance to save in here. I thought we were gonna get a safe room soon. Nope. Alright, well, we're in okay shape. Um, <sighs> we might want a bigger weapon than this dagger. What do we got? We got 7th Heaven, the Torbler Round, the Little Slugger, Stabby Stick, and the Bosom Cleaver. I didn't even name this one. This just came that way. Um. If we're about to fight a statue, I have a feeling that blunt damage would be good. Hmm. Human beast, undead phantom dragon, evil. Uh, the soul's kiss is pretty good against evil. It's extremely good against undead by now. Um, I might go back to the Torbleron, or... Let's try the stabby stick. Let's do this one for a little bit, and y'all have to come up with better names because I'm just not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do that while I'm streaming. Who am I kidding? That's the kind of names I give things when I play solo too. So whatever. Um, yeah, that big pile of rocks in the corner makes me think it's something. Yep, conspicuous camera pan. Called it. Wow, nice dodge. Alright. You are very big. I'm gonna run up real quick and... Uh... So you're evil. <sighs> Shut up, Molly. You're not allowed to give away my secrets. <laughs> Even if I just gave them away myself. Um, Alright, so this is an evil type. So what's good against evil type? I think- oh gosh, is it the soul's kiss? Do I have to go back to the soul's kiss, the tiny little dagger? Surely there's better sources of damage. 
We only did one with the stabby stick. I didn't get enough practice with it. This is not going to be worth it. Zero damage. Yeah, I'm gonna... Let's try out the Soul's Kiss. Get our shield and our dagger out. Just because that, that'll help us... The shield will help us with some extra damage too, because that was like our gen generic bonus damage weapon. <sighs> Alright, break arts. Whistling Sting. Let's try it, Whistling Sting. Okay. Um, wow, only the body is worth... We can only damage the body, really. And that's a hard shot to hit. Uh, I'll try it. Let's try it with our new special break art that we got. Whistle Sting. Damn it! Okay, um... What else do we have? We have, uh... We have some Grimoires. Uh... Spirit Surge summons the Spirit of Light to attack enemies. Uh... Degenerate temporarily decreases target strength. This seems like a good thing to use on a big brutish enemy. Um... Heal. Let's try Grimoire Debile. When they get into range. Uh... Grimoire Debile... Okay, how do I... How close do I need to be? Okay, there we go. You have to have most of them in the sphere, I guess. Oh, the might, halt might work, but it seemed to only work on like those little floating rocks that we saw in the start. If I was reading the description correctly. But we could try it, just for the sake. I want to try to build, because I want to get their strength down. Um, degenerate. Hooray. Strength down, okay. Master the spell to generate. Cool. Just in time. And that was a good block and we still only we still took six damage. That was not too bad. We might have made the right choice here. Oh gosh, this dagger's not gonna do crap for us. I was a little fast on that, but Okay. Ugh. Yeah, this dagger can't hit anything higher than their legs, so we're not gonna be able to get them much. So I might switch back to the uh the spear. Oh, I don't know Radiant Historia, Molly. Um, I mean, Torblerone is the one we were best with, but this is evil type. Um, Stabby Stick is at least not bad against evil. So I'm going to roll with this for a little. It's a little slower, I think, but it might get us the range we need to be able to stab the torso. Okay. Yeah, DS is another era I really don't know a lot about the games from. Ouch! Oh, I wonder if our I wonder if our Debil wore off. We might have to reuse it. Okay, yeah, we can hit anything with the spear. This is why you equip a spear. You can hit things taller than the legs. Um I'm gonna try the torso again. Oi. Oh no. Reflecting some damage. Now let's uh, go. I ran out of cure roots. I gotta use cure bulbs. Okay. So we have to make sure that we're at least down 100 hit points before I used it. Yeah, there was like a couple DS games on uh, that I've been meaning to play. Like, uh, what was it? Yggdra Union was one that seemed kind of fun that I heard recommended by some friends. Um, I don't know much about it, but... Alright, there we go. Oops. Ow! Oh, I bet I know what happened. We were wielding a shield. We are no longer able to wield the shield with this spear. Um, also we are not doing any damage. Ow? Okay, okay. Um, add silent to an attack. Um, equals to seventy percent of damage dealt. Okay. Um, oh wow. Okay. Um, so this thing's gonna keep smashing us if I don't. Silence it. So I'm gonna try the silencing attack. I have to hit it and then time it with the attack just right. So 
There we did. We got the silent on it. Oh, good. Okay. So now it can only use its basic attack. That's good. Okay. Um... This is gonna destroy us, huh? Uh, yeah, the only thing that we can actually do decent damage on is the body, but it's really hard to hit it. Like, we have a bad percent chance to hit. But so far we've been rolling pretty well. This is just gonna be a slugfest, I guess. I'm kind of glad we kept the spear handy. That wasn't a really good attack, but... If we can keep juggling it and I get those double combos, it seems to not be able to get a counterattack in. Oh shoot, well... It was a good run when we did it. Uh, let's get some distance. Let's uh, take another Cure Bulb. Good chance for spear, spear practice, if nothing else, so I guess there's that. Um, oh no! Reflecting some damage back. Uh, I'm get you in the legs. I want to get you in the body, though. Okay. Again. Right. I wonder if we, maybe one of our other grimoires would be good to use. We can try the one that does the light spirit attack. See if that does more damage against this. Uh, item. Grimoire Lux. Um, I'll try it on the body. It's a low chance to hit, but 30%. It's like... Oh, but the Silent wore off when we used a spell on it. Oh, that's interesting to know. Uh, we probably are going to want to put the Silent back on this. Messed up. One more time. Still didn't get the silence attack, but I think we beat it? Whew. What was that sound? Congratulations! We did it! 12% of map completed! Normal agent! And let's see if I get another terrible bonus. Three, two, one, go. I'll take it. Achieve cure bulbs and elixir of dragoons. Adds a few points of agility and grimoire ameliorare. Grimoire containing the spell Prostasia temporarily raises target's equipment. Raises your equipment? What does it mean to raise one's equipment? Select a battle ability, okay. Um, see, that Terra ward might have been good to get, come to think of it. We might want these elemental wards eventually. Uh, hmm. Although that silent probably saved our butt too, on the silent stab. It looks additional damage equal to 10% of damage dealt and adds that amount to PP. See, I still don't know what phantom points are. I think you use them to spend your abilities or something, but... Also, I don't know what numbness does. Reduces foe's MP by an amount equal to 30% of damage dealt. Maybe Mind Assault is a good generic thing to do, like if we're fighting spellcasters or something. Although we have Silent, so maybe we don't need that. Um, maybe I'll do Poison, because then we could start doing like spreading damage up and uh, poisoning things. 
Is this another cutscene? Ooh. The magic rocks are moving again. See, I didn't know that that's what the golem was preventing from happening, because there was never really established at any point, but... Oh well. Now we know. So now I gotta find a save point. And that laughter! Every time we go into a classroom, there's like that very faint laughter in the background. Excuse me. Hmm. I'm gonna go try to find a save point. Because I think that's a good stopping point. We beat a boss. We made some rocks move. That's exciting. I'm gonna keep on getting some more practice with the- oh, no I'm not. The spear is terrible. Oh gosh, yeah, this, this skeleton is totally gonna kill us before we get to a save point. That would be embarrassing. Okay. Yeah, did y'all see a save point at any point? Because I didn't. Um... Come on, stop! Uh, Warlock? Okay, here's how we take care of, of undead. We spirit surge them in the head. Just, your head is slowed. Are we serious? That didn't that didn't do it for ya. Wow. Anyway, um surely there's a save point somewhere. Surely. But yeah, I, I'm getting the feeling that you really are supposed to specialize a weapon and uh or a, a set of weapons, so I'm kind of glad we have this really good anti-undead knife. Because otherwise this would be miserable. And we should get these other gun or these other weapons a little bit better. I want to get the, the, the spear better, because this will be good for fighting knights and stuff. Um, and now that it has some points at evil slaying, I guess it'll be good against evil knights also. Um, which there seems to be no short supply of in this game, so, you know. That will be good. Um, I thought they showed on the map, but that should have been the first thing I checked, huh? That would have made a lot of sense. You know what, buddy? I'm gonna practice my warlock skills. Oh, I don't have the MPs. I have to... I have to hit you with the magic recovery ability. That didn't work. Did I... oh, nope. Okay. Here we go. Uh, maybe it's this one room that we didn't check. The door's been locked! It's another ghost! Aqua Blast. I didn't take the Aqua Guard skill. Okay, yep. Almost dead again. Oh my gosh. This game is a little bit brutal. Alright, Warlock. Spirit Surge. You're not in range. How about now? Are you in range now? Yeah, you are. Uh, I guess I'll hit you in the arm. There we go. Take some berry roots. Now, if I look at the map, um, that's not the map button. That's the map button, okay. Theology classroom, priest's confinement, a corridor of clerics, to the catacombs. So we just came from the catacombs. Theology classroom. 
Academia Corridor, Alchemist Laboratory, Shrine of the Martyrs, Hallowed Hope. Yeah. Not a single save point in this entire section. Weird. I bet it was the one tile that we didn't the one direction we didn't go in. Right back here. It was probably that little that little chasm with the with the stone moving over it that we reactivated. We probably were supposed to see that first, and I'm assuming that's where the save point is. Um, so we want to leave this room, uh, go back to the main corridor, and go right, right? No, no, leave map, leave map, leave map. Kindly leave map. Leave map. Door is locked. I've still got to kill skeletons. Okay. You're not giving me a good camera angle, skeleton. The door's been unlocked. Okay, that's all we needed to do. So it's just a little room with a ghost, um, and, a, and a, like to trap you in if you went in here. Is there anything in here that we missed? Hmm. Wouldn't hurt to take a peek. Hmm. Huh. There's so many boxes in here. Was this a box puzzle earlier that I forget having done? Hmm. Well, I don't see anything in the room that'd be worth getting, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna mosey. And surely, uh... Here, and then back one more tile, we should find the... Uh, We should find the... Okay, here's the last room we haven't been to. So I'm really hoping this is the way to a save point. Oh, heavy steps, heavy steps! Oh, it's Lizard! Oh, it's Lizard! Alright, uh... I think we're gonna get the spear for more spear practice. Uh, we kind of need a designated dragon slaying weapon. Maybe that'll be our crossbow. Uh, but I'll go with the spear for now because we were getting better with spear. So let's get a level of spear first. Uh, shoot! They do hurt. Um, their body is not the place to hit. Their body is really well armored. Uh. Seems we want to hit them in the arms, or the head, pretty much. I'll go for the arms, they seem easier to hit. Try the head. Ow. I would like to not die, though. Um, I really wish there was a save point. Maybe we were just supposed to backtrack into the previous section, because I think there was a... Oh, body wasn't what I wanted to ha attack. Oops. Yeah, maybe we were just supposed to backtrack to the previous room. Like, that's what they were trying to encourage us to do. Because I might have just done that. Buddy, you can't go. There we go. Alright, um, yeah, so there's like, <laughs> there's our save point on the other side of a chasm. Very rude game. Very rude. Um, now, I'm a little bit, af I'm a little bit afraid if, uh, this game is like, you fall in the river, you game over right away. That might be the case. I'm guessing we go through this side passage and walk around and find another way around into this room with the save point. <sighs> yeah. Otherwise we'd have to backtrack a fair ways, I think. To get back to the... Well, no, the catacombs aren't too far. Um... 
y'all down to press forward. Um, I've gone a little longer than I wanted to, but if y'all are down to press forward to get to that save point, I'm down to I'm down to forge on. Um, okay. I don't want to keep anybody up past your bedtime. Hmm. Alright, let's give it a shot. I kind of hate the idea of risking all or nothing. Um, not having any save point access. But, we have a lot of heal items and there's probably not another boss fight between here and there, right? I know it's a delicious lemon score, it's my last one. I gotta make more. Because my flatmate didn't get to eat any because <laughs> the one guy who was here all weekend ate like half of the tray. <laughs> So, after the weekends, the one I the couple I was saving for her didn't she didn't get to have any. So I'm gonna have to make more. Oh, we got poisoned again. Poison's knees. Alright, I'm gonna save our heals until after we're done with this fight, just in case we have- a, I don't have to cure poison twice. There we go. Okay. Let's, uh, take that fairy chortle. We got some poison damage, so let's, uh... Fairy chortle. I can't get over that name. I love it. Alright, Fairy Turtle. There we go. One more poison. And. Uh, not a Cure Potion. Let's use a Cure Bulb. Honestly, we should be using all our Grimoires on things too. Because we have not used many of them. And we have many a Grimoire. Um. Anyway, uh. Well, this is a puzzle. So, by my estimation, this is a single block. One, two, three, four. If we can get one block on this wall, we should be able to jump onto that part. Um, and all these blocks are against the back wall, so the only real way to free them that I can see is to stab this one. Grab this one. Put you over. Come on. Put you. Put. No, not not there. Dang it, Agent Riot. No, no, not spear. There we go. And I guess we could push these down to get back up more easily. So that's kind of nice. Again, can we all just take a moment to appreciate the? Oh, hi. I, I didn't see you over there. Um. I was just gonna say, can we take a moment to appreciate the, like, the ambience here? Just like... Really limited technology here, sure, sure. I don't want to go over there and fight that thing if it's gonna shove me off the cliff. Um... Why would you put the save point past all this stuff? It's so rude. Yeah, look at this environment. Honestly. Honestly, though, um, can I zap you from over here with Spirit Surge? No. Can I... <sighs> As I recall, the crossbow's range was a little bit miserable. It's also not a very good crossbow. But if I could just shoot you from over here, I would feel so much more... <laughs> Wait, wait, I have a cheese idea. Okay, so the range is about halfway across, so if we got halfway across, we could shoot them. Oh, they're gonna come at us now! Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, um, oh, uh, no, don't. Don't do it. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Safa, that's kind of what I was thinking. 
if I just step onto the stone, go halfway at... Nope, that's not the button I wanted to press, although I get to look at the, the fun little lizard over there. Hello. Really quick. Let's go... Uh, not equipment. Let's go to that grimoire that stops the moving stones and just pause ourselves in the middle of the lake and then shoot our scaly buddy over here. Fixate. I sure hope we didn't just drown ourselves in the middle of a lake, because that would be embarrassing. If we did just drown ourselves in the middle of the lake, I'm going to feel like such a dumbass. Especially if we lose all our progress, because we have to walk into the lake to get off of the stone, and that means game over. Oh, uh, damn. Um, so best damage and hit percentage I'm seeing here is probably just a headshot, so... We're just going to shoot you in the head a couple times. These are the speedrun strats. Right here. Look at my, my extreme amount of skill. How do I do it? How do I manage? There we go. Now. Please- oh, thank goodness. Oh, I was worried. Okay, okay, okay. We did it! I think the save room is over here. I think we managed. Now look how look how smart that shit was. Did you check out the the extreme cleverness with which I approached that situation? That's why I love games like this with a bunch of little moving parts and stuff. Like, you can actually make clever decisions and stuff. It's kind of cool. So let's uh, check the container and dump all our crap in here. Um, but yeah, I think in, I think this is probably a good point to break it. I've been going for about three hours after the break. So that- thank you. Thank you both. You're very kind. Um, let me dump some stuff in a box. I'm- I'm-, I'm I have to take what I can get, because I make a lot of stupid mistakes a lot of the time. So, you know. Uh, like right now, I'm- oh, here we go. Um, I want to put... Uh, do I just have, un like, loose parts? Oh, am I removing from the container? I'm removing from the container. See, that's those kind of stupid things I was talking about. I'm, like, an expert at that. Um, Langdbeave. The Langdbeave. Okay, I'm gonna put the Langdbeave away. Um, Ron's heavy mates, blunt two-handed. Oh, I forgot we have a Spatha. Well, let's put away the linked beef for now. I, I, I can't, I can't store the linked beef. Why, why won't you let me store the linked beef? Oh, cause you're part of a weapon. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm being dumb. The linked beef is part of the bosom cleaver. All right. I, I can't really give that weapon any any, any guff because my names are also pretty bad. Um, let's put away this loose pole. I think everything else we're pretty well set on. The knuckles. We've got a spare curious if we wanted to try any crafting with it next time we find a workshop. Um, put away some of these bone helms. The dragonite contain slightly increases power against dragons. Okay, this is the missing piece that I- this is the- I missed this. Um... Yes, I want to store these items. Okay. Now we have to save the game in order for it to save our item updates. I guess it must save your, uh, item storage as part of the save file or something? Like, it must save it as part of the same data set, so it needs to save the game whenever you store stuff in the chest. Hmm. But before I forget, I want to try to put, uh... Can I put a gemstone inside this? Can I attach a gem to... I put it in the souls... Oh, I can put it in the stabby. Okay. So I guess that crossbow isn't going to be our general use, um... 
anti- because all these lizard folk are dragon people. So I'm gonna put the dragon dragonite stone inside the spear for now. So the spear is our anti-dragon weapon, the dagger is our anti-zombie weapon. Um, because we can't fit anything in our current crossbow. So before I forget, let's do that. And then I think with that, I think I'm ready to save. There we go. But yeah, um, I hope y'all enjoyed the stream today. Um, <laughs> sorry, I keep going through the save menu over and over again. But yeah, I'll be back. Um, oh, I disconnected. Oh no. I think I had another disconnect problem. But uh, hopefully we're still going. And yeah, um, it's a really brilliant, beautiful game. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying myself a lot. Uh, so, so yeah, um, I'm gonna be streaming more of this, uh, next Monday, this Friday, uh, around 1 EST, I'll be streaming some more Cataclysm on our, on our shipwreck survivalist character, and we'll see how far we can get there. Um, and I'll play more of this next Monday, and then, um, I kinda wanna open another slot during the week, but I really shouldn't be streaming three days a week, unless I'm planning to, like, make the, make this a career or something. <laughs> Not four hours anyway, but but I did want to stream some like visual novels and some other stuff that I've been looking at, um, and I might do a Planescape stream sometime soon, but that might just slot in after Vagrant Story, but I don't know if Mondays or Fridays are better days for most people. Um, yes, with you. I did promise. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if... Monday or Friday is a better day for like this kind of stream. I just could sort of pick this because it was the first day we were streaming after I took a break. Um, but but I would like to I would like to do a little bit of a a little bit of of, of other game streams. I mean, if, if Cataclysm we might not have that character for too much longer, and if we get to a good breaking point, we can always slot it in on Friday streams for a little bit and come back to Cataclysm later. But, hmm. Just for the sake of testing. It only does 20 damage. Good to know. Alright, well, Ashley took a bath. He probably needed one pretty bad after all that. Um, no little scraps of sunlight coming through on the rock face. So pretty! Such a freaking pretty game. Anyway. Let's just watch the the soothing the soothing sounds of watch the <laughs> rinse off that rinse those butt those exposed butt cheeks that have been absorbing all the grime of the dungeon. Poor lad. That's why he's really a sad dad. He doesn't know how to wash his own clothes. Now he's like completely useless. Anyway, um. Yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, Monday or Friday, I don't know which days are better for this kind of stream, but I figured I'll probably just stick to Mondays for now. Um, and maybe we'll slot something in on Friday after Cataclysm, after I get a little burned out on that. Because I'd like to try some other games. There's so many games I want to play, but yeah, there's a, like, I want to do Hot to Full Boyfriend at some point, because I haven't played that. Um, I was looking at some PC98 games like you know, though that might have to come with a, with a, with a over 18 warning, because I think it might be pretty mature content. I've never played it, but I'll have to look into regulations of streaming that on Twitch, so I'm not sure. Worst case, I'll just stream it on another platform. But Hot to Full Boyfriend, I'm pretty sure it doesn't come with an 18 or up uh, warning, so I could probably stream that just fine. Um, but yeah, and some other games, there were like some PC98 games I was looking at, um, and some other various things. So I'd like to try to do more console games that I missed. Um, like the entire Metal Gear series I've never played. Um, there's there's Sega Saturn games that I want to play, like Skies of Arcadia, which is by my favorite, but the author of Fantasy Star, uh, Ryoko Kodama, um, did Skies of Arcadia, and I didn't know that until recently. And I could totally, I could totally get that um, and play that because I really want to. Because I really like her writing. Um, I've really enjoyed because she's one of the few. Um, directors from the 80s and 90s who was like a, a woman who was allowed to pick her and lead her own team and so the talent on it is generally like a really really good b you get perspectives you didn't get out of a lot of the gamer game creators of the era 
Um, she writes a lot of really good female characters, and I just like her in general. So I'm kind of interested in seeing how Skies of Arcadia stacks up to fan like my memories of like Fantasy Star 4 and stuff. Um, so that would be interesting. And yeah, some other stuff. I'm Like re medium or long form kind of games. So anyway, that's enough rambling for now probably. I'll post about it in Twitter or whatever. Um, but for now, yeah, Vagrant Story Mondays, Cataclysm Fridays, same time, same channel, and uh, have a good night. <laughs> if you can tell, I'm very good at outros. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the fancy, fancy screen here. I put all this effort into this really nice screen, so I may as well use it, right? <laughs> 